Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to a, another episode of Let's Play Hexit. Uh, as always, I'm your Rowan, and I'm not exactly in one of the best moods. After about three times of trying to get this to work and to get well, things recovered, I have given up trying to fix things. I've died off camera twice to uh once to a wisp once to a uh another zombie and uh I've had the front of my base blown up by yet another creeper so that's a thing um as you can see here I have finished the first floor of my castle I was then going to work on ta -da, nice and huge. I'm gonna get a nice little throne here. We're gonna get some pictures and stuff and and then I was gonna work on staircase to go upstairs and get on my wall. Staircase to go upstairs, have the second floor started and my master bedroom. <clears throat> Do like some weird funky Diamond circle-y shapes for these corners right here. Do Thaumcraft and Ars Magica on the other side. and But it just seems I cannot get started. I really can't. Every time I, I get things ready to start, it blows up in my face. But I can't let that stop me. So instead of doing most of it off camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab me some wood. And we're going to go super hardcore. I do believe I had, yeah, I've got a bunch of stone that got done cooking over here. I think I had red rock, or I have it over here. Yeah, I cooked a bunch of red rock from when I need it. Uh, my resources and everything are all mixed up. Um, I'm missing a bunch of resources. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a stack of coal. And a stack of sticks. And we're going to make four stacks of torches. Plus two. And we are going to light this place up. Tired of things creeping up on me. Killing me. I'm going to go a little over overboard. Uh, you guys might laugh at this. But, oh well. Tired of things spawning all over me killing me all the time so things will still be spawning all around unfortunately um, however I'm gonna try and prevent as much of it as I can keep the spawning as far away as possible that way so at least I'm not close enough to aggro things put that there uh, I'm gonna need one up here <sighs> you probably one up there too ain't I? So this episode's going to be me just kind of unspawning, I guess you'd call it, um, this area. And then I'm going to start working on getting the shape for um, my towers. Because like I said, I really need to start getting into Ars Magica and I need to get into the magics. So I can start taking on things from a distance. Um, I do need to go... Resource hunting yet again because, like I said, a lot of my resources are gone. Uh, that's something I can do in time, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, you are weird. What? I never noticed this before. Nice little undercropping. I wish we had a female chocobo over here. And light start. Light is starting to die, so I'm gonna need to go get some sleep. These next couple episodes are going to be mainly me going through and I should put torches down while I'm going, I guess. Me going through and uh, building my base. I'm not too worried about um, exploring right now. I uh, really want to get, you know, I really want to get my base up and running. I want to get 
a little bit of research done for Ars Magica and Thomcraft. Uh, but more importantly, I'm really going to need to get weaponry and um, everything back up to normal. So these next couple episodes are going to be uh, mainly talk, mainly watching me do stuff like this. Um, if you guys, uh, probably in the next episode when I do the more buildy aspect of it, um, I will probably speed them up. Uh, depending. Uh, it really all depends on well, how I feel about it, if I have anything to talk about. Uh, can you tell in my voice that I'm frustrated with this game already? Um, you are lucky I don't have a weapon because I would kill you now. I really would. Both of you. Um, I have been recently been growing really, I guess, frustrated slash tired, bored, worried about this game because it's not holding my my attention as well as it used to. I don't know if maybe I'm just not having as much fun as I used to on with this mod pack or what, but that just doesn't feel the same anymore. And I was kind of hoping that adding in the magics was going to help, and I figured I wasn't going to have as hard as a time as I did. But I mean, what? Not more than much I can do about that. Um. It is what it is. I am like totally lighting up the area super far away from my base, but that's fine. Uh, I don't want to waste a torch. So yeah, guys. Um, I also have noticed, uh, which is uh, sad, unfortunate, but um, my views have been slowing down. Uh, so I'm. I mean, I, I miss you guys. I haven't gotten much feedback from you. I haven't heard from you. Nothing, and it's. I mean, I understand. I've I haven't exactly been the most reliable of let's players. Um, definitely not the most reliable Minecraft let's players out there, with uh, people that are much better at this game than I am. Okay, game, you can stop lagging anytime. Ah, oh, thank you. That was not going to make it any better. Um, the ones that are still watching me, I, I I want to thank you so much and once again apologize for all the times I've been away, all the problems I've been having in the last month or so with recording and keeping constant with my recordings. Um, I do appreciate everything you guys do. Um, and new viewers, uh, any new viewers that I get, I thank you guys so very much. It's more than a pleasure to have entertained you guys as well as I can. So, I think, I mean, it's not the best, and I can't tell because it's still daytime, but I think I am lit up probably about as best as I can get. Uh, these mountainsides are really hard to light up because you don't really know what's going to uh, be lit up and what's not because of the height difference and such so I really don't know best I can do is put things around as best as you know the best that I can uh, I do know that once things start do start moving um, and I, I do get better armors and I get better equipment uh, get my weapons back in order uh, Ow! No, not again. Not again. Okay, that's it. That is it. I have iron in here. Do I have string? I have enough for any... Oh, that should be enough. String? Do I have any iron or do I just have the block? Uh, it's hard to tell because of all the resources I've lost. Um, I tried to salvage as many as I could, and I was able to get a good, a good bit of them. But I 
Shears. Um, I don't, no, I don't need any more sticks. I've got enough sticks. I need... Last thing I need now is... Oak. Which, oddly enough, I don't think there is any oak out here. Come on. The bad thing about being in a, a birch forest is I need oak. Do I, um... Maybe I have some bones and an oak sapling? I only need one. I'm sure you guys know what I'm planning. Um, if you don't, then I'll show it off here. Momentarily. Hmm. Flint. I'm not seeing... Oh, there's some. However, I am definitely not seeing any bones. Although I know where I can get bones, so not too worried about that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go through and reorganize everything. I thought I had a pick. There we go. You have done angered me. I need to plant these. Just in case some of them grow. Put them out spaced out a little bit. <clears throat> now. No! Go away! Oh man, he's chasing me down. No! I want to get over there, but I don't want to mess with you. I'm going to make a bow, uh, in case none, um, none of you guys uh, happen to catch what I was doing. Bone? Not... Oh, really? That was it? That was... That was sad. I guess I can go out that way and check for some. I'm sure there are some out there. And uh, the nice thing about a Tinker's Construct bow is that you could get away with oak leaves. Uh, I don't understand why you can only use oak leaves and not any other kind of vanilla leaf. But, hey, you do what you, what you can with what you got. I'm going to come over here. And grab some of these. Oh, long days long. <laughs> Actually, this is, my day's not really that long. I've just started my day. I was kind of hoping this recording would go pretty well. and Well, so far I haven't died yet, so... That in itself is a bonus. I am going to leave a tree naked, though. Which is fine. Which is fine. I will deal with that. Mm, I don't really have a sword, which is kind of an unfortunate, but uh, with what I'm trying to fight, I don't need a sword. And no, you can't harvest this with uh, shears, which is another sad thing. Actually, the only way to get these seeds is through those rainstorms uh, that I showed off in my attempt at a stream courting. Which, nee. the idea was cool. I liked the idea. I think that would have, would have been a great idea if it would have recorded better. Um, do I have everything I need? I think so. So, the only thing I don't have is the pieces for it. Which I need a... Da -da -da. Come on, where are they? Bowstring, a fletching, and an arrowhead. So I'm going to make the arrowheads out of flint.
Uh, I'm going to use sticks. I'm going to use. I need only need 32. Well, I'll just make them all whatever. And then I need to load my crafter crafting table. Make some. Come on, game. Make some string. Which incidentally takes the same amount of materials that you would for a regular bow. Let's go to the tool forge. I need sticks now. Oh, I do have sticks. Sweet! Okay, so for my bow, my first bow, this is going to be. Come on, bow, stick, stick, bow strand, right? Apparently I can't use sticks for tool rods. Um, maybe I can do this. Make two stone rods. Make it out of stone. I'll make a stone bow. Whatevs. Yeah, stone bow. Okay, so we now have the stone bow. These, on the other hand, I do. I remember you being able to make these out of sticks. Unbreakable arrows. Bam. Come on. I thought these stacked. They do, you just Uh Okay, this is getting this is kind of annoying. This could have been fixed by now. Why these things take so much to stack, I have no idea. There's one stack of arrows? Yeah, I think I kind of went a little overkill on the arrows, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to recover them all. And my mouse is really acting up on me today. Come on. Just freaking stack already. Stack. Stack. Apparently, some of these just don't want to stack. Click. Maybe if I'm just, I'm, maybe I'm getting frustrated and I'm just, no, this, this one set of arrow. This one arrow set just does not want to stack, apparently. Whatever. So as you see, it is nighttime. So we will sleep. But as you see now, they do fire a little better. Not much. Okay, that was disappointing. I'm sorry. Are we finding my regular arrows? I can't tell. Yeah, we were firing regular arrows. And regardless, they were... Well, it's nice to know the short bow will fire regular arrows. Just not very well. Well, my bow works a whole lot better in my um, Feed the Beast, which is sad, very sad. Oh man, nothing. Nothing is going right for me in this in this playthrough. I don't understand it. The bow bow's almost dying. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is just supposed to be frustrating for me. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tower figured out. I know I'm going to want, like, three over from this way. One, two, three, there. I think I'm going to want to do it, like, there. I think I'm going to go three, and then corner, corner, two, corner, corner, Right? I did two corners, right? Oh, I only had one corner. 
and it flattens out here. There. Oh, but that doesn't go out enough, I don't think. I don't know if that's going to be a big enough area, actually, to tell you the truth. Hmm. Because then it would go... One, two... Because I wanted it, what, three? And then put one there? Is that what I did on this side? Yes, I did three from there. One, two, three. And then I went out back three, or back two. I feel like something is not right with this drawing here, and I need a shovel. Because that's going to get annoying. So you're going to watch me kind of flap around as I try to uh, figure out how to perform this. I, I know, I should make a Tinker's Construct. I probably do have a couple Tinker's Construct shovels somewhere. I don't care right now. Too frustrated. You need to go. Just carve out a little piece into the, the earth right here. Okay, so let's try this again. Just take these all away. Okay, so this is what I've got. If I were to make it a square, that's what it would look like. But I don't want it that small. What if I go out two in the center and then flatten it out here? So then it would go. Get away from me! Like that. Okay. No, I think I still think that's too much. I kind of want to do this. So it should go three, two, one. Right? Three, two, one. Yep. Take that one out now. This brainstorming thing is kind of rough on me. Oh, that's going to look odd right there, though. Should maybe put it here? I mean, it's still going to look kind of funky. Maybe move these two back some? Ugh, and to think I gotta do this twice. I've never actually made like a circle. No! Frickin' die again! Oh. Get away! I have bread on me, don't I? I don't know, I think I'm going to have to look around um, the internets and see if I can find... Uh, there's a couple tools I've heard of. I've never used them, but I've heard of them that uh, help you design things. Like circles. Because generally what's going to happen is this whole section is going to be cut out too. I guess being I'm not sleeping in here, I can actually do this. So 
because it's going to technically connect right into here. Probably, probably not that high though. It's probably only going to connect like three high. So right here as well. And there. See if I stand here. Do it like this. Well, that's not gonna work either because it's still gonna flatten out. And... Oh, so many torches everywhere now. Mm hmm. So, if you guys ever wondered what I do off camera when I'm trying to design these things, this is it right here. I sit here with a bunch of torches, or maybe I use dirt, bricks, stone, whatever it is I have in my possession at the time to uh, plan out how this is going to look. So yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I want it to be able to encompass a I want to do a 5x5 five because the biggest table I can think of it is going to be a 3x3. Three three. Oops. And if I have it encompassed 5x5, five five, that's only going to give me one extra space. So maybe I'd have to have it encompass a 7x7. Seven seven. So hypothetically, actually, what I can do right here. Like I was explaining, I tend to use whatever I have available. So what I'm going to do is get rid of these shears that I don't need. Two, three, four, five. Actually, six. Two, three, four, five. Where do what do I do? Five by five. One, two, three. Well, that's six anyway. Well, let's do a six by six, I guess. Do this. Test this out. And in next episode, I will have either A, figured this out using the almighty interwebs, or B, you will be right back here with me. As I try and figure this out yet again, oh, the problem with this is, is it's no, it's gonna be up to be seven by seven because I want it even, or else it's gonna look odd. Nighttime, nighttime. But yeah, guys, next time I will have either, like I said, figured this out or I will have uh, continued working on it. So uh, thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Uh, sorry that I've been kind of frustrated recently. These wisps are bothering me. These, uh, hmm, it's just all around in general. I'm going to have to, I'm thinking I'm going to have to make a chocobo pen already anyway, just so I can, uh, go and start collecting chocobo feathers. I need a circle that's going to encompass this. Um, dirt. This is my goal. So if I go, I don't know why I was jumping there, I thought it was cool. Here.
So I went three from way outside there. I don't know why I didn't think about this in beforehand. Three. How much does that leave me this way? It's going to give this like four. That's not too terrible, I guess. Because then it's going to go one, two, right? And then this connects to one, two, three, one. Okay, so apparently I counted wrong. I forgot to add the one at the end. So then it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, maybe, maybe, uh, just for test purposes um what's the center one two three I think that's the center because then I should have one two three four one two that was the center anyway so there we go so this is what the table is gonna be space wise I hear that weird sound of a wisp but I don't see one and it's worrying me okay this is what the table is going to look like. Well, it's going to be placed. Walls are going to be out like this. Um, actually, if I go up here, I should be able to get a good view of this. Get kind of an idea of what I'm looking at. And if this is the case, if I figured it out while I was trying to close, then sweet. Yeah, that looks nice. That definitely looks a lot better. Um, that might mean, though, I am going to have to open this up a little more. Because I want this to be the corner, the complete corner, which would be one of these angled sides. So I'm gonna—it's gonna need to be uh, the gap itself is gonna have to be one, two, three, four. Well, from wall to wall, it's gonna be wall one, two, three, wall. So wall one, two. No, nope, it's gonna have to open up one more. So then it goes wall one two three okay that's doable so then you're gonna walk in through here there's gonna be an obvious staircase coming up this way and we're gonna go up probably about four times before I get to the first level and then we're gonna have to repeat on the other side um Hopefully there'll be enough room. So, next episode, we're going to be speed building a tower. Uh, it's going to connect right to here. It's going to go out quite a bit. I'll get probably torches or dirt or something. And we will outline it. Or maybe, it's, I mean, it's going to be with brick, so I could just do it with brick. Okay, so. How do we go? Once we get one, two, three, we go four out. This is going to be a long episode. Sorry, guys. But one, two, three, four. Because it go well, it went one, two, well, how did I do this? One, two, three, one, two, three. I thought I did one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. No, because it went three in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Err, so confused here. My flat side should be. The wall should be five wall all together. Right? Five wall. And then it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the angles have got to be. Okay, mess something up again here. E well, each wall should be f like five long, right? One, two, three, four, five. That's five. Turning around. One, two, three, four. Yeah, each wall should be five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, and then it's just going to continue around. I'm going to do cobblestone for now. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Whew. Oh man, that's gonna be huge. That's gonna be huge. Which matches my t which matches my castle, I guess. But man. But that means that I can build something here. This will probably be like an armory, I'm thinking. And on the other side, same thing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And this is, like I said, this is just going to keep rising as I go up. This is It's going to go up maybe two, three circles before I even do anything in it. Okay, so now I can light this area up just a little bit. And uh, carve this part out. So you're gonna come in here, and this is gonna be steps. And then, because all this will be probably be steps right here. I don't know how I'm gonna do these corners. Those corners are gonna be interesting for steps, but we'll see. We'll get to that when that problem comes up. Friday. So, uh, thank you guys so very very much for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying this. A little more buildy. Um, off camera, I will probably, well, I've got a bunch here, but off camera, I'll go through and I'll, while this is rendering, I'll turn these all into bricks. And then we will start building our first tower. So then we got to turn around and do it on the other side, so. Thank you guys once again for watching. Sorry, this has been a 40-some minute video. Uh, sorry that I'm so fr frustrated with this game. So, anyway, guys, happy gaming.